Hello everyone, I'm Anmore Central and welcome to a very, very, very snowy Wavesworth bus station in Yorkshire County's 3.0, or version 3, depending on who you ask. The map itself, very iconic, um, not for the street deck, there should be B8R release somewhere around here, or there certainly was a minute ago, but it's iconic for the B8R release, the first release as part of the up-and-coming Valen Park that is expected to be released into the sort of buying domain um, at the beginning of 2022. There are quite a lot of exciting other OMSI stuff on its way as well. So it's quite a nice excuse to get back into the OMSI world. I've also just realised that's a really, really, really nice screenshot opportunity. So we are in this bus station with this lovely vehicle from V3D in an even more spectacular repaint. Um, created by a mate of mine um, who has been working on the repaints around the Team Pennine um, takeover and the rise of the Team Pennine Empire. Um, the repaint pack has finally been released. Um, I've been quite lucky to have a little nosy to see it in production. Um, but it has finally been released for the E200 MMC. There will be a link in the description below for this. The bus itself is a free to download as well as the repaint pack. It's also free to download so you can enjoy some Team Pennine madness within the OMSI 2 world now. So we have covered Team Panine um, since they took over. Since they took over on behalf sort of Transdev, Team Panine being a name that Transdev have used, taken over Yorkshire Tiger earlier this year. So far, we may as well cover the now OMSI Two takeover and by the company as well. So in front of us, we've got E two hundred MMC five seven four registered YX eighteen K and J that we have actually been in in a few YouTube videos. This vehicle is iconic itself, as it is the only one to carry the Kirk Eaton Quick brand. A brand serve, a brand new service, number 262, reflecting the original route number used on that service by K-Line. Um, and at one point, I think Black Prince ran a little bit on it. Um, Black Prince and um, Yorkshire Tiger. Um, so the 262 being a quick service that runs down Wakefield Road to Waterloo and then going direct to Kirk Eaton and Upper Heaton in competition with the Arriva Yorkshire's 261 route. This running every 30 minutes and all single fares being just a pound on it. So it's the vehicle that's dedicated to that route on the day of recording it is on there um, as, as usual. Um, we're recording this a day before the video will be released um, and the route doesn't run on a Sunday um, so it was um, the day before the day before release and the day of recording. So we're taking this bus on the 83A route. Um, it's a bus I haven't driven for quite a while, actually. So it's quite nice to get back into the sort of driving seat on it. I've just realised I can't remember. Oh, is it? I feel like it might be 173. Um... Oh, no, hang on. No, I can just do route. No, I didn't, didn't think you'd let me do that. Yeah, you're probably not going to let me... No. You're not going to let me do it in the system that I should be doing it, so... There we go, set that up. We are actually a minute late now, so I should probably crack on. Um, we are driving the 83A route today, and we're doing it up to the police station. Um, that, funnily enough, I'm going to have to actually check my running board um, to make sure I get the right place. Because obviously I'm having to set it up manually um, per the usual automatic setup with this vehicle. So the blind should load up. I'm hoping it. There we go. It's loaded up. I mean, 83A Westfield. Uh, it's not exactly how I intended for that to load up, but it'll do. And we'll go around to stand. Need to put the wipers on as well. So we're driving in the snow because it is nearly Christmas. Um, there is a Christmas um, special, I'm not spoiling it too much, um, coming out as well. Um, that will also have a little bit of a snow theme related to it. So I have actually recorded the Christmas Day special. It's a very, very exciting one this year. We've got a few special guests um, taking part too. Um, and we're doing one of my old classic um, videos, basically. So the 83A on the map itself um, uses two vehicles and runs between um, Wavesworth's mm. bus station and um, where we are now. I do still love the Travel South Yorkshire style bus stops. And Westfield Police HQ. The route itself um, 
is branded to and is advertised to extend further. However, the scenario on the map basically is that the routes had to be curtailed short um, due to an issue um, and like an RTC. So we'll see that um, when we get to Westfield, it's sort of like an ITC setup. Um, we might also get the radio communications, although I don't know if this bus will have them set up, um, that usually tells you that the divert's taking place. Hey, one of the Hendo's advertising, or Hendo's branded MB8 release. Very nice. So, as um, First South Yorkshire sort of going um, back to them actually, as they keep expanding their brands and things, um, do be aware that there is going to be a, a brands video um, releasing in due course um, very, very soon. I am currently hanging on till a few more brands and things launch. We've just had another brand um, release this week. Um, 37520. It's another re one related around parks and green spaces. Um, it's not sort of 250 parks like the other one, the other branding was. It's slightly different. Um, so it's sort of one that's made me think, well, hang on a sec, we should probably hang on. Hang on till everything's properly released. So we're going to hang on until um, a few more of those B9s painted in the green one. And then in the new year, when I've got a little bit more time, um, as it has been a hectic year this year, um, I'm hoping to... Is no one wanting us? Um, okay. I'm hoping to do the brands video um, because I have had to sort of go back to the drawing board a little bit um, thanks to the release of this new... There we go. Thanks to the release of this all new um, brand that's just um, been launched. See, I'm used to driving this route in peak time, so it is actually quite weird driving it and there not being loads of traffic here. And also forgetting where the road layout is. As I was in the idea that this map had been made to a degree where it didn't actually have snow textures on the road, so I've sort of been taken by surprise a little bit. I mean, it is Christmas and you've got to drive like this. Because I did actually miss the um, snowfall um, when it, it sort of appeared at the end of November. Um, I was actually away for a few days. I was filming actually the, the Blackpool videos um, when it snowed and um, infamously it has to be incredibly cold um, for it to snow in Blackpool um, and geographically as well um, where the snowstorms were heading they very much just missed the place itself. So um, I missed the main snowfalls um, this sort of the back end of this year. So it's quite nice to even if it is just in a simulator to have a little drive of it. So going back to Team Pennine um, and the latest developments, I imagine over the festive period I will end up in the Team Pennine area again. So do expect some more videos um, from that from that part of that part of things. Because there's been a few. Oh don't oh don't wait there. There you go. Go on. No, a bit further. Come on. Come on. Hey, keep like, it oh, going. Go there we go. Around, Sorry. There we go. I love how the people in this game, they still complain, despite the fact that they, they looked outside and realised it's a bit icy. No, I'm still complaining. I mean, it is Yorkshire map, so it, it, it is accurate. I should probably actually switch the lights on for a bit more visibility. Oh, I think the bus slipped on the rail slightly there when it went onto this road. Heard that little oomph and then it was like, oh, hang on. And there is actually somebody wanting this stock, so I should probably, probably pull in. I have actually missed driving this bus. I think the one thing that puts me off driving this, the, the MMC, is the fact that when you max it out, it, it does have a very, very sort of low mile per hour limiter. So for the kind of routes that I usually drive, they're like the 83A as you'll see shortly, and it's quite a sort of a country road route. So when it's not snowing, I've been 
maxing the bus out on that service, especially after getting stuck in all the traffic down here um, in order to keep on time. This bus wouldn't be my sort of piece of cake for that, as it is just the, the limiter means it, it doesn't go as fast um, along the roads. It's probably for the safety of everyone involved, but it still, for me, um, is a slight putting off factor, really. I think as much as it has the snow textures, I don't think it's got the same ice effect that's quite nice, because clearly I left that to quite last minute and gradually slowed it down in the ice way and then a little bit of a more harsh break and the bus actually seemed to respond quite well. Now this gives off Minecraft vibes. Uh, <laughs> it's sort of going in a portal or something because <laughs> you can't see the other side of the bridge. It's been a while since I've, I've been on Minecraft. Um, I think, um, and it, this is something that is going to be mentioned in, I think, a few upcoming videos, actually, um, is that Minecraft um, has been viewed on YouTube one trillion times. Um, I was one of the people that watched it um, when I first started watching YouTube. Um, I'm not, not ashamed to say that. I mean, most of us will have probably watched it. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of buses. There's not usually many buses along this road, either. So it was quite nice to see that they've reached one trillion views. Um, so it's it's something I haven't I haven't played for a while. I mean, I don't to be fair, I don't get that much time anymore to sort of have leisure re relax time. Oh, there is actually a little bit of little bit of ice um, texture on this, judging by how the bus just handled the corner. Hmm, it's weird, is this? Because it, it's breaking really, really well. Um, but it's like sometimes I'm turning and things like that and then acceleration, it's been a bit weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's like here, it, it's taken ages to get around that corner. Hmm, I think it might be only certain roads that have it. Uh, also, I always do forget about the fact that this does have a CCTV camera and I think it has a reversing camera as well. Come on, game. There we go. Stay with us. Stay with the living. See, this is the thing. When you drive it in the snow compared to actually driving it normally, you, it does actually feel a bit different driving this map, to be fair. You see, like there, it, it's just glided itself a while, but the other time, it, it seemed to do quite well at braking. I mean, that is... I'm glad that there was no other weight in there. <laughs> but yeah, going back to Team Panine, oh, I got distracted um, a little bit. But there's a lot of updates happening with them, um, as usual. A lot of fleet changes. Um, I mean, they've now started to go towards Geminis a bit more. Um, they've actually got two Geminis on fleet, two B-70L Geminis. And one of them is the PO55 Reg 2764 with the incredibly comfy seats upstairs that I'm actually looking forward to going on this Christmas um, on the D1, as it, it has been a while since I've been on that bus. And they've also got 2790, this is an LF52 B70O Gemini direct from Rosso, um, new to London. I believe it was an Arriva London vehicle as well, actually. Um, it's been residing with Rosso for the past few years. And has transferred over to Team Panine. Oh, there we go. Didn't really want to mount that curb. Um, to assist vehicles there. Yes, and to assist the school runs, because I think one of the um, ELC bodied B7s has come back to the MyBus operation in Keefler. There 
we go. Oh, now this feels cool. Oh, I was a little bit debating these textures that they've used, but oh my goodness me, the effect that they've made down here, like it's all just submerged into one snow thing. Oh, that is actually awesome. <laughs> I really, really do approve. Oh, now this is cool. And let me see. You see, this is like going back to basics on my Umza 2 videos where we're like... We used to spend quite a bit of time stopping for screenshots. It's quite nice to go, oh, didn't want to do that. It's quite nice to go back to back to basics. I'm on the screenshot taking. Something I have, I must admit, I have missed. Oh, this does, this does look the part, does this road. Now, this, this feels very, very Christmassy. I know that there's been some things in the media recently about people not feeling Christmassy. And I think I've done quite well. I mean, I have been blasting the Christmas tunes out um, all December. Um, I've got an advent calendar, been doing Christmas shopping, just finished the last of it, actually. So I've, I've really been going towards the full Christmas effect. Um, and I think stuff like this, driving in winter, and it, it just... Oh, this just looks awesome, does this? Oh no, I've just remembered that this is actually just a right turn. You see, this is the thing, it, it does look a bit different when you're actually driving it. When you're driving it... Oh, we, didn't, we, we don't really want to be sliding. <laughs> that, that reminds me um, of when I actually went out a few years ago when it had been snowing. Um, it was back when 60910 the B7L um, was still running at First Bradford. One of my favourite buses was that, is it just sounds like... An, I, I always like B7Ls. Um, just for how they sound, um, but that one just sounded like, just totally different, it sounded like an absolute tank of a bus. So it was always my favourite one was 60910, and I remember it rocked up um, as it was snowing, because I, I, I liked doing my snow photography, so I'd gone out um, and thought, oh, I'll jump on bus, and jump on bus and try and get some snow photography done. And the bus rocked up. It, it rocked up bang on time. The reason it rocked up bang on time was because nobody had been catching the bus all day. Apart from me and a few other, few other people um, that you could probably argue were a bit bonkers, to be fair. So, and it rocked up and we were going down the hill and I remember sitting on the bus and the bus was sliding all over the place. So it was no surprise that when it got back into the bus station um, that the bus was just parked up and they were told, well, we're going to have to leave it. Uh, we're going to have to cancel the service for a little bit. So... It was, it was quite an interesting endeavour, was that? Um, as it was just sliding all the way down this hill. Um, the driver did an incredibly good job of it, and that must be said. It did a really, really good job. Um, and it just basically slid down the hill. It just reminded me of that. Because this is the thing when you're driving in snow. It, it's at any point um, just a, a, a bit of a sort of a steering move a bit too harsh, and it can slide about. I feel on this map they have actually nailed it quite nicely as this is the thing with Omsi with how the junctions and stuff like that's laid out it can be sometimes quite tricky to decide on how you're going to do snow textures to make them look good and this approach can sometimes be a little bit weary because it, it can't always work but I think on this map it, it really has I think the full collaboration of all the shrubbery, if you notice when we set off the traffic lights as well, the top of the traffic lights had snow textures on them, the pavement textures are lining up as well. Oh, oh, we didn't want to mount that. Oh, there we go. There we go, I mean, put the hazards on because we have stopped a little bit further down than I really oh, wanted yeah. to. What? There we go. See, the one thing that does bug me in Omzi is you can be driving really carefully because your bus is sliding all around in the snow, yet all the AI cars and buses always run on time and drive at full speed. And um, it can be a little bit, little bit annoying, but... But it is, I mean, it felt that slide around as well. But no, I think the, the snow textures on this map have, have been nailed. They really have. 
Like it does, it really, this is, I think, out of all like, the stuff I've driven recently on, on simulator games and things, not that much, but the, 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 the small amount of stuff I have driven, I think this gives off, this map on its own gives off the best sort of winter Christmassy effect. It's, it's not wanting to turn. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. There we go. You see, the reason I was concentrating then is I knew that tight turn was coming up. And I didn't want to do what I did. Um, but clearly it made no difference whatsoever. This is the PlayStation. It's actually been quite nice driving up so it doesn't have the radio announcements on. As when you're like me and you do actually do quite a few rounds on routes like this when you drive them. Just to like sort of reflect a realistic sort of part shift kind of thing. And you've got the radio announcement. Sort of on a full round trip they go off about two or three times I think. And when you get that for a couple of hours, it, it can get a little bit annoying because the route's about like sort of a, a round half an hour round trip ish. So you do end up sort of I think it's like five minutes. So you, you end up hearing it quite a lot. So it's quite nice to drive a bus that doesn't have it. I mean that that's the issue with the limitation with stuff like this, where the radio announcements and things like that. I think in this game are so cool. But if you are driving the routes on a regular basis in the shift pattern, they can get a little bit annoying because you do tend to get the memo. Let's just slow it on them. There we go. So that's your police incident. That means that this bus can't carry on. Would be nice to see in a future update though that part of the route actually extended um, and this route finished off to what it, what it was advertised to be. Because cool features like that are nice, but it would be nice to sort of give the updates and potentially when you do update bits like that and extend it, it would be quite nice to introduce sort of new roadworks and things like that. Oh, there we go. No, there we go. Oh. <clears throat> Slide it in. So there we go. So here we have at Westfield um, with what is now looking to be quite a muck at you to under an MMC, actually. So I'll demonstrate the <coughs> reversing camera. There we go. Quite a nice feed too. Because of how because of the fact it's up there, you can usually forget about it. But it is a nice cool feature. There we go. And then we'll put not in service on and we'll finish off this video so I do hope you've all enjoyed it oh god <laughs> zero 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 sorry not uh, we might we might go with it we might actually go with it then I think so I do need to um, sort out the hops on this um, I imagine there is a hop file being made or is already or is already out there and to reflect vehicles like this um, so it will be nice to actually have a drive of that um, with that blind done in a future video but this is the lovely new um, Team Panine repaint pack um, that's now out on the Fellows Film forums and um, that is free to download. One thing I must mention before I do finish off this video is each vehicle is sort of handcrafted um, and created in a way and it shows off its full accuracy. So the branding on the back of here is accurate to this vehicle and the other longer MMCs that are reflected sort of fully accurately are 5, 7, 1, 2 and 3 that are all HUDs quick. Um, they all have the um, accurate branding on the back because they're all different on the rear. Um, then there's also the different variants of the Horn Thefts, um, the Horn Thefts Explorer, that's the one. Um, 
the Explorer X1 service between Homeforth and Wakefield that's supposed to be using three tempos, 14056 6 and 7, H5, DXE, H6, um, or, or might not DXE actually, the, the, H, the H5, H6, H7 um, basically now registered and they all have again, they are tempos in real life but they still have sort of been reflected onto each one of them and seen bodywork with the realistic branding at the back. The creator also wanted to stress that due to the sort of um, lack of references at the moment, um, I, may ha I may have to try and provide some references um, to add the branding inside. There is no internal branding, however that may be something um, that may be added in the future as and when references are provided for it. For now though, there is a nice sort of do not stand forward with this point sticker, and again it will be quite nice to see the interior branding um, added at some point in the future. So for now though, that has been a nice drive in Yorkshire County's um, 3.0 version 3 in the lovely Kirk Eaton Quick variant on the Team Panine Repaint Pack with the e of the MMC created by V3D. If you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to hit that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. Um, be aware that as well as I say, the Repaint Pack is free to download, I do highly recommend it. It is in the description below. Um, if you haven't already as well, do be sure to subscribe to the Ammo Central YouTube channel. Keep sending in your video suggestions, and I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.